Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Aliyu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are available in the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description or in the comment section pin it, build, pin it down below with this video. In addition to that, I have also segregated the channel into 5 playlists which are uh, respectively easy, medium and hard, premium and all ordered which describe the, the difficulty of the questions easy medium and hard and the premium questions are the uh, premium subscriber questions or premium things only available for the for the premium lead code uh, membership and also all questions which are there in the lead code premium non premium and all, all different categories have segregated into one single playlist and i've ordered by sequence wise okay let's see the question which i'm trying to solve today it is of type easy question number 1939 users that actively request confirmation messages let's see the question okay uh, they have given a sign up table which is consisting of user id and some timestamp okay uh, okay and whether they have given some confirmation or not date type user id okay the combination of user id and timestamp is the primary key for this table and user id is a foreign key this table okay this table is connected to this table using foreign key each row of this indicates whether a okay confirmation or not was it confirm or expired without confirming okay ticket write an sql query to find the id of users that requires today confirmation twice okay Okay, confirmation message twice within a 20 hours window. Two messages access the 24 hours are considered to be within the window. The action doesn't affect the. Okay, okay, only request time. Okay, the action does not affect the answer, only the request time. Okay. For example, if you see here and here, uh, it is on 2021 for the user ID 3, let's say, 2021, he has logged in on uh, 330, 337, only 7 minutes gap is there, okay, so he has registered, 7 and 7 is there, you can see, 6, 12, 11, 57, 29 seconds, 6, 13, 11, 59, 30 seconds, means it is one day, one second okay they have asked that it should be in the bracket range between only 24 hours apart okay so 7 is not satisfying 3 is satisfying let's see for the 2 also 2 is what uh, first exactly 24 hours it is there okay it is also satisfying let's see this question where they are saying uh, October 23, 14, 14, 14, 2, October 24, 14, 14, 13. So it is exactly 1 minute less 24, okay, which is less than 24. So this is also satisfying. So what we need to do is we need to join to with this table only with this time time to this time time such that the difference between them lies between 0 to 24. This is the code I've written, if you see. Join the table with the same table itself, such that the user ID 
equal to again the same table user id okay and the condition is either you can keep second or you can keep hours and you can remove this both are same and they should be in the time time uh, time date difference between 0 to 24 hours only let's run it again i think hour i think Uh, let's see where it's missing. Okay, it should be removing because we are removing that. We should be removing that. Here also we need to multiply with one point two. It's not required. It is uh, just a difference. Let's try to keep a seconds only then. Okay, it got accepted. Uh, seconds difference will be how much um, 60 hours 60 seconds means one minute and 60 into 60 or how much 3600 means uh, okay by 6 okay 60 into 60 okay Okay, I think we have submitted it successfully. Yes, it got submitted. Thanks for watching my video. If you think it can help or make any impact for you, you can just subscribe to my channel and you can share it to anybody who can get great impact from this and they can improve their SQL knowledge and they can, uh, what can I say? they can achieve their dreams of getting a dream job thanks for watching my videos and just try to complete all the videos which are in there in my playlist just keep going keep hustling keep getting better in yourself every day thank you